हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास एट सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद दी दैट इज अ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल इन दैट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विद द एक्सरसाइज नंबर 2.1 द 2.1 वी हैव सॉल्व द सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स बाय दैट इज यूजिंग ट्रांसपोज मेथड इन यूजिंग ट्रांसपोज मेथड वी हैव सॉल्व सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स एंड यू हैव डन विद सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल एंड यू हैव सेंड थ्रू एन वन व्हाट्सएप नंबर and okay so in the and also you have learned in there some of the applications of linear equation in one variable that is perimeter problem you have learned and the consecutive numbers also you have learned and some more examples you have learned and in this video or in this session i am going to solve the exercise number 2.2 uh, that exercise number 2.2 that is a uh, first problem i am going to solve that is first question says if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the result by 1 by 2 and you get 1 by 8 what is the number the question says here observe the question if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the result by 1 by 2 you get 1 by 8 what is the number they are asking so see here first create the equation first create the equation Okay, so we don't know actually the number. Okay, so let the number I choose. Let let the number let the number be x. Let the number be x. And you subtract that number with one by two. Means you have to use the equation as that is you can write x minus one by two. Subtract that number with one by two and multiply, and multiply the result by one by two. That is x minus one by two. Into bracket x minus one by two, which is equals to the result. You will get this as one by eight. So this is the according to the question. That is this is the equation. Okay. So so now see one by two. You multiply x minus two, which is equals to one by eight. Okay, so now next step, what you have to do? So see here, this one by two multiply in the bracket. One by into x, you will get this as x by two. Next, one by two into my one by two, you will get as one by two into one by two, you get as one by four. One one is a one, two two is a four. Plus into minus is minus x by two, which is equal to minus one, which is equal to one by eight. Okay, now this question I am going to solve here. So transfer this minus one by four to RHS. So I will write this as x by two, which is equals to this is one by eight. Write one by eight as it is. Then I transfer this minus one by four to RHS part. So plus of one by four. Okay. So now see, it is x by two. It is LCM. What is the LCM of eight and four? LCM of eight and four is eight. So you will get this as eight. This is eight ones are. This is four twos are. So again one ones are one plus one twos are two. So you will get this as x by two, which is equals to three by eight. Then x is equals to. You will get this three into two whole divided by eight. So x is equals to three into two whole divided by eight. That is two ones are two fours are. So x is equals to you will get this as three by four. X is equals to three by four. That is two ones are two fours are. So x is equals to you will get this as three by four. So this is your required answer. First one, create the equation. Okay, just transfer this LHS to RHS. Use transpose method. Then you take the LCM, split it, find the value of x, and that number b that is. Three by four. I hope so. You understood this problem. Hello, dear students. Now welcome back to the question number third. The question number third says the base of an isosceles triangle is four by three centimeter. The perimeter of the triangle is four integer two by fifteen centimeter. What is the length of either? That is, what is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? The question says the base of an isosceles triangle is four by three centimeter. The perimeter of the triangle is four integer two by fifteen centimeter. What is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? So this I will draw a rough diagram. 
so this is the rough diagram so our base of the triangle says 4 by 3 centimeter so this is 4 by 3 centimeter and we know that that is the perimeter of the triangle so we don't know these two sides that it is isosceles so if this is x means both sides are equal means i choose the both sides as x okay so the perimeter of triangle perimeter of triangle is nothing but what is the formula that is sum of three sides it is sum of three sides three sides perimeter of the triangle which is equals to sum of three sides that is perimeter is 4 integer 2 by 15 okay so then it is sum of three sides the first side is we are having as x second side is the x third side is 4 by 3 as given in question that is x plus x plus 4 by 3 okay so now this is in the form of mixed fraction this is improper fraction first you convert this in the form of improper fraction so again it is 15 fours are we know it is 60 60 plus 2 which is 62 by 15 which is equals to x plus x which is equals to 2x plus of 4 by 3 okay now what you do now you write that is 2x plus 4 by 3 which is equals to 62 by 15 first you write the rhs part on the lhs and R lhs part on the rhs now what you do now you simplify this 2x you write as it is which is equals to 62 by 15 write this also as it is subtract this is plus 4 by 3 transfer to that side becomes minus 4 by 3 okay so now take the lcm 2x is equals to lcm is 15 3 and 5 15 the lcm is 15 it is 15 ones are 3 fives are 15 so 62 ones are 62 minus 4 fives are 20 4 5 so you get as 20 so 2x is equals to 2 minus 0 which is equals to 0 6 minus 2 which is equals to 4 40 by 15 okay so now see this 2x is equals to you will get as 40 by 15 so i write x is equals to 40 hold out of 15 into that is 2 so i write this 2 ones are 2 that is how much are 2 ones are that is 2 minus 0 is this will get this as 2 sorry this will get as 42 62 minus 20 will get as 42 and this we will write this as 42 2 ones are 2 20 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 2 are 4 2 ones are so x is equals to you will get next x is equals to you will get this as 21 by 15 so x is equals to you will get as 21 by 15 this is again 3 5 are 3 7 are so x is equals to 7 by 5 this 7 by 5 you convert in the form of mixed fraction 5 ones are 5 remaining is 2 by 5 1 integer 2 by 5 so this is 1 integer 2 by 5 and this is also 1 integer 2 by 5 Okay, first thing perimeter of the triangle is equals to sum of three sides okay so now this is 4 integer 2 by 15 is your perimeter sum of the triangle sum of the three sides is the perimeter of the triangle let the side be x x plus x plus of 4 by 3 so this is x plus x is 2x remaining is 4 by 3 this is 15 4 are 60 60 plus 2 which is 62 by 15 then you take 2x plus 4 by 3 on the LHS part and which is equals to 62 by 15 so 2x is equals to 62 by 15 this is plus 4 by 3 transfer to that side becomes minus 4 by 3 so 15 and 3 LCM is 15 15 ones are 15 3 fives are 15 so 62 ones are 62 minus of 4 fives are 20 62 minus 20 will get as 42 so this one 2x is equals to 42 by 15 so this is x is equals to 42 divided by 15 into 2, 2 ones are 2, 20 ones are. So remaining x is equals to 21 by 15, 3 fives are 3 sevens are x is equals to 7 by 5. This is in the form of what it is improper fraction convert in the form of mixed fraction and getting this one integer 2 by 5. I hope so you understood the exercise number 2.2 that is the third question.